and you think you some shit, and there's people out here ain't got no motherfucking food. How dare you? How dare both of y'all say some shit like that, and there's people out here ain't got no fucking food, but y'all don't need a motherfucking garbage. How fucking dare you? I ain't eat all day, and you gonna take the motherfucking life, and eat some fucking All right, so we see this shit from these NYPD cops tossing away fresh produce brought out here by a street vendor over permit limit. Because this person didn't have a permit, this was the sorry ass actions of a sorry ass department in a city with officials who have such fucked up attitudes towards people based on economic status. Now in a community with severe food insecurities, why are you throwing away fresh produce? The reasoning for throwing away this food wasn't because they were selling outdated vegetables, fruits. Uh, it wasn't due to none of that. It was because they didn't pay for a permit. And the city has had limits on the number of permits given to street vendors. And that has to be taken up with state legislators in order to change that. Now, the mayor can make a push for that as well. But for people in this community to see... This food, which if, if that was the case, all this food could have been passed out to the people who stood along watching this, who I'm pretty sure needing that. And even in some of your lower, the lowest of income uh, areas, access to quality fruits and vegetables is always a major issue. You can always find sugary shit in, in high uh, salt content snacks and shit. But this is the action that the NYPD would take because this person didn't have a license. But this person came back out here. And I think the vendor works at a farm where she even puts in the work to have to pick this stuff. To sit out there on a the farm to pick this and then come out here to sell this even in the rain. And this is the actions taken by the city's law enforcement and sanitation department to throw away this shit in front of people. Ain't no fucking way. I would tell these cops, fuck you. Because I think that's what needs to start being challenged in the system. There's two polarizing sides to the American system. Those who are part of this fuck shit that takes place in certain institutions where we speak about the institution, the racism, discrimination, and all that. There's people who take place in it, who, who take part in it, who employ themselves into it. And they take upon the acts that are put out by punk-ass people. I've worked jobs that I've seen have punk ass policies their missions to want to oversell shit and rip people off and i can work there and i don't get part of none of that shit and people who know me know exactly what the hell i'm talking about i don't do that shit with none of these companies when company on whole shit and i'm working with them nah i'm gonna do what i think is right and i think people in the city should do what's right and not so much just crime but getting with your, your local council member or whatnot and making a push to this to to possibly change this but also vendors have to adhere to these um city ordinances as well and they have to become part of the process if it's an issue you guys need to be at meetings and shit to push for these changes but the city has its standards and rules on shit and people just have to be be more of a uh, stakeholders into the changes that are needed Attend these damn meetings. Stop letting these elected officials run a fucking muck. And a lot of times they ain't even run the muck. A lot of times they just ain't being challenged. And I think people need to be to be challenged in these roles they take. But that's all I got. Catch you on the next. Peace.